Yes, this is the um, this is how the OBS Studio will look when you open it. Here, there is a part, a box. It is called Scenes. So once you have opened OBS Studio, uh, we will be doing different functions. So first, we'll become familiar with the interface. Here, there is a box which is called Scenes, and another box which is called Sources. Uh, you don't have to look at this because we, we won't be doing anything particular there. And then we have here in this end controls. So we'll be looking at controls, sources, and scenes. Well, in the scene, there is actually one scene already existing. So I'm not going to add a scene, which uh, one scene is enough. So you have one scene by default will always be there. So that is the scene. In the sources, we'll be doing several or operations. So what I want to do now, imagine I want to create a lecture with showing my face. OK, I'll, so I click this plus, uh, this plus button here, and a pull-up menu has come. In the pull-up menu, we have, I'm going to record a video. So I have, I'm selecting video capture device. I'm clicking video capture device. You might wonder where it came from. In under sources, there is a plus sign. You click plus, and a menu will come up. And from that, select video capture device. A box has come up, and I just click OK. And then it asks for which camera to use. So here, integrated camera is selected. But today, we won't, I won't be able to demonstrate how my video appears there because my camera has already been used by the, uh, the Google application that we are using to uh, do this interface. So I am clicking the integrated camera. OK. And this red box here, imagine that this red, or this red, it becomes red when I select it. This red box will have my image inside. And if you are going to create a lecture, you will find yourself inside it. And when I select, it becomes red. So what you can do is you can pull it like this and make it big. You can pull it and make it big. Now you have it all over the screen. So imagine my face is within this or within this box, or your face when you're doing it. So it has filled the whole box. It's all ready now. Your your video is ready. So we have created one source now. Using the plus, we have created a video capture. We have prepared for a video capturing. So what I'm doing, demonstrating now, is how I can create a lecture. This, my camera is connected. Now you don't see anything on the screen because my camera is being used by Google Meet. And then I will press plus again. And now I need uh, audio input. So on the top, there is audio input capture. I'll click that. And I click OK. And then I select my audio, so my microphone. So in this laptop right now, there are two microphones, three microphones, in, in fact, because the camera has a microphone built in. And then there is a default microphone of the laptop, which is shown here. HD webcam is the default camera, which has a mic. And microphone, Realtek audio is the uh, microphone of the uh, laptop and now I have a three USB audio device, which is an extra microphone I'm using. So in your computer, you won't have this complexity. You select the microphone we are going to use to record. The best microphone that you think will help you capture your voice. You'll be selecting that. You click OK, and you won't see anything, but it is already here. Here, audio input capture is ready. And video capture is also ready. So this is ready now to record. And for recording, on the left, the right corner, you have controls. And there is start streaming, start recording, studio mode, settings, and exit. And you will use the start recording button. So I'm going to press the start recording button. I'm pressing it here. And it has started recording. Now, from this moment onwards, the recording is, has begun. And you start 
suppose in between you want to pause, you can come back and click the pause button here. If you press that, it will pause. After pause, to continue, you press the same pause button. Same pause button, it will it will continue. And then finally, when it is done, you press the stop recording. Okay, and the file within a few seconds, the file will be saved in your video folder or any destination you have specified. Now we will go back. But for those who find it a bit confused, I will tell you what I have done. This is the OBS Studio interface. Here there is a box called Sources. And one scene is already there. I have just added a video capture device and an audio capture device. And I record it. It's basically a very simple thing. So, And then if you want to see where your video has gone, go to File, Show Recordings open and your video will be there you can play it and you can use it I have demonstrated how you can record a video of your own so that is it but most often well this is uh, to, to some teachers this is the need where they want their students to see them and want their students to listen to them this is good but suppose I want to have a text or a PowerPoint and also to talk about them, or, you know, talk to the students based on the point, I do certain other things. Let me tell you how that is going to be. So the video capture is already there, and we are not doing anything to it. We'll make it small here. I am making my video very small. Now my video will appear within this little box here. OK. The small box here, yeah. And now I want to share my PowerPoint. Let us see how we we'll do that. We go and click the plus button again. Window capture will be there. So, so far we have done video capture and audio input capture. Now, the third we are going to do is a window capture. I've clicked it. OK. And it will ask you which window you select your window. Or uh, when you, you know, let me tell you, here this box has come. And there will be, under the window, if you click, a pull down menu will come. All the windows that are open behind will be shown here. A minimized window will not be shown. Very often, people have this complaint. I tried to capture my PowerPoint using OBS Studio, but my PowerPoint is not seen. That is because you have minimized your PowerPoint. Don't minimize. Keep it in the background. Open it in the background. And you click open using these buttons below the uh, below the application. On the lower line, you can see all the applications that are open. Click them. Some uh, users have the habit of minimizing one window and then opening other. Don't do that. Keep all the windows open. Choose them from the lower bar of the uh, desktop. OK, now I am going to select um, my PowerPoint. OK, this is my, the, remember the last window we opened was Audacity, and the, that is displayed. I was discussing how we can capture a window. The advantage of capturing a window is you can, uh, you can teach, you can talk with the PowerPoint slide moving. So it looks like the PowerPoint slides are moving on their own, and your voice is heard in the background. It's extremely useful. Uh, you know, I think uh, you know, your own video is not that important. Uh, but you know, it's good. I've showed you how to use that. But this is a much more uh, convenient thing for us teachers, where we would like ch children to look at our words, look at the power images, diagrams, etc. This is extremely useful. So I have added a window capture. And I was saying that if you want to hide one of this, suppose I want to hide my photograph, I, I mean, my video, I click that I there, it will it'll go away. And yeah, that is there, which you can experiment, which is not that important. So I have the PowerPoint now ready. And I'm going to record both my voice and the PowerPoint. What I'll do is I've kept it ready here. And now I go to start recording. It is under controls, as I said. You st I press start recording. And then it will start recording. OK, it has started recording. And I now go to my, I don't minimize this. I'll keep it like that. And I go to my PowerPoint. And I scroll back. I go to the beginning. I 
tell them i you know i i go about talking whatever i want about these slides so suppose after this talk i'm going to create a video for you this is how i'll probably do it i open this this window and i'll be talking there are three tools obs studio etc then i'll scroll to the next one i'll talk so i'll talk about this i'll talk about this and then suppose in between i want to pause i'll i'll click here this pause button i'll click it will pause and and after i am ready to continue i'll click that pause button again and it will start recording and after you have finished all the slides you have finished you can see the slides coming and going i have finished all the slides i will stop press stop recording and automatically the it's already done it, within a within a few seconds it's very amazing the speed in which it processes in a few seconds that video will be created and stored in in the folder usually it, it directly goes into the video folder in um the c drive that is default later you can copy it from there so th i have now recorded a uh, a video of mine and also a video with a powerpoint and my face here in the corner i can delete that if i want and have only the powerpoint and i can have partly my video and then the powerpoint i can also have you know all these things are possible which you can learn by slowly using it it's not difficult so that is basically how we use obs studio for recording a lecture or a little class which we want to share and the win and the, the 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 file it produces usually is rather small it, you can upload it in the youtube or you can share it uh, with, with a cloud without much difficulty okay that was obs studio now i have created this video so what i normally do is when i create a video there might be places which i am not very happy with and i want to edit it and i might want to add a title screen i might want to add something else all that can be done using another software called the open shot uh, video editing software 